got some cracks in it this one some scrapes it's flipping excellent man <laughs> Basically, maybe I just wanted to have something, you know, spend some money and mm -hmm. have an extra bit of something or other. And um, looking at, you know, things that control us, I, su I suppose. Mm. But they confused me and, and, and they were sort of, um, didn't seem very stable most of the time. I wasn't sure whether I could get my head around a button that did several more things than just one thing. You know, I came into home recording in the world of computers. I, I, I never, I don't know any other way of recording, although I've been involved in recording since, you know, the 90s when we didn't have screens and DAWs. But, but my experience coming into it now is with screens. So I also wanted to get away from that, that sort of accursed thing of looking at the music too much rather than listening to the music. Um, and, and of course, this really helps. Price of it, it's a lot. You know, there's a, there's a lot there for what you pay for this. And um, what I was very happy about was that it was pretty rugged. I'm sure you could just chuck it in a rucksack and go on a fly and chuck it in the overhead bin, and it'll be absolutely fine. You know, I'm not a mega shredder. You know, I don't solo and solo. I, you know, I sort of custom make notes and sounds for that for a song i'm sort of a more of a parts guitar player i suppose sure, rather sure. than a <laughs> um, get me in that situation and it's then it's very embarrassing i mean i like coming up with parts that support the emotional drive of any sort of song i'd love to be able to just be a fantastic amazing soloist mm -hmm. but i didn't really get the time to geek out in my room for years and years, you know? Right. I, I, I was in a band and I was coming up with parts for the songs and then that was it. I didn't really have time. I suppose sure. I, I could make time if I really wanted to sit here and mm -hmm. uh, I'm too busy. I see you've got, you know, instruments arrayed around. Yeah. I imagine it's quite a quick start when you get up here in the morning. You've got them sort of all ready to go. And yeah, you know, I mean, that's what happened with me when I... Um, I mean, it was a shame I didn't have, have this when I was doing the end of the effing world thing, really, because I just got this just after that. For someone who didn't really have a workflow, I had to work pretty quick. I'd come up with like three or four things a day sometimes. Mm. So I quickly got things where, you know, I had a condenser mic here and, um, you know, an acoustic there and an electric there and then the bass on the floor. And that was ch -ch -ch. so it was very very quick and especially with with that you know it's two buttons and you're on a new track and um and you're playing and and, and you're pressing r and you're off mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. 